Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to use Excel to have some fun. We'll be using Excel to determine the odds of winning the Powerball lottery and learning how to build formulas along the way. The basics of the game are that there are two machines. The first machine has 69 white balls in it that are numbered from 1 to 69, and the second machine has 26 red balls in it that are numbered from 1 to 26. For each draw, there are five white balls drawn and one red ball, the Powerball. If a lucky player picks the right combination of the six numbers, they win the grand prize, which has had jackpots in the hundreds of millions of dollars, and in 2016 had one reach over $1.5 billion. On this worksheet, I've mapped out the possible white and red ball results. Now I'll pick five random numbers for the white balls. Next, I'll pick one random number for the red ball. Let's begin with ball one. So what are the odds of the draw generating one of the five numbers I picked for the first ball? The answer is that the odds are five chances in the 69 balls drawn. I'll record this as a fraction of five over 69. I'm gonna highlight one of my selections in red so that we know that it's been picked. Now for the second ball drawn. This time the odds are four in 68. It's four because we have four numbers left and 68 balls remaining because in this scenario we've already drawn the first ball. Once again, I'll record this as a fraction, this time 4 over 68. I'll highlight one of my selections in red to show it's been picked. Now for the third ball. What do you think the odds are? If you said 3 and 67, you're correct. I'll enter this as a fraction of 3 over 67 and mark off one of my numbers in red. For the fourth ball, it'll be 2 and 66. Once again, I'll mark off another number in red so they only have one left. And for the fifth ball, you've guessed it, the odds will be 1 and 65. So now we have the odds of getting the winning numbers for the white balls. As you can imagine, the red ball is easy. The odds are 1 and 26. So we can record it as a fraction as 1 over 26. Now to calculate the odds. To do this, we'll multiply the values in the numerators, these are the upper values in the fractions, and do the same for the denominators, which are the lower values in the fractions. I'll start with the numerators. The formula begins with equals. This tells Excel that this is a formula. I will then enter the cell for ball one, which is M3, and then I'll add the multiplication symbol, which is the asterisk. I'll then add the next ball, which is cell O3, and I'll repeat these steps for the remainder of the numerators. I'll click Enter, and we get a value of 120. Now for the denominators. I'll repeat the same process as we did for the numerators. The formula will be equals M4 times O4 times Q4 times S4 times U4 times W4. I'll click enter and we get a really big number. I'll add some commas so it's easier to read. That's better. The denominator is over 35 billion. However, we're used to seeing odds displayed as one in five or one in a million or one in 10 million. So let's get our odds into that format. If we have 120 in the numerator, what do you think we have to divide it by to get it down to one? That's right, 120. And if we divide the numerator by 120, we have to do the same for the denominator. So for the numerator, our formula will be equals the value in y3 divided by, and we'll use the forward slash, which is how we do division in Excel, and then 120. And I'll click enter, and we get a value of one. We'll do the same thing for the denominator. And we have a formula of equals the value in cell y4 divided by 120, and click Enter. Once again, I'll add commas to make it easier to read. And there we have it. The odds of winning the Powerball lottery are 1 in over 292 million. If you enjoy using Excel for fun tasks like this, in some previous videos I've created a Powerball number generator as well as a slot machine. If you haven't checked those videos out, you can check them out here.
If you find my videos informative, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Thanks again and have an excellent day.